Smartwatches. I feel like I've owned them all. I love automatic watches and that's what my channel is about. But I also love technology, so the temptation to have a screen on your wrist had to be given in to. Over the years, I've owned the first LG Android Wear watch, a Huawei, several Samsung models, and of course the Apple Watch. I hiked Nepal with my Garmin Phoenix and also used various Fitbits and basic step trackers. Yet despite all this, my wife stuck around. Eventually though, I had enough for the beeping, vibrating and general nuisance of bringing charges away with me, notifications in meetings or on a couch, and that feeling of always being connected got old. I started wearing my automatic watches only, and I didn't look back. But here we are again, and this time I have something special. This watch is almost impossible to get a hold of. I had to jump through various hoops and send money via the internet to unknown sources and a rather large sum of money at that. On paper, or should I say photos and info on the internet, it looked very much not just like a normal watch, but one that us automatic watch fans would wear without compromising too much on our high standards. So is it any good? Well, let's find out. What we're looking at here is the Scamwatch Horizon from French company Withings. It's made from 316L stainless steel with flat sapphire glass and loomed indices. It's got a 5 year warranty, a rechargeable battery that lasts for around 30 days and is water resistant to 10 ATM or 100 meters. Withings even specify that the watch will do an additional 20 days in power reserve mode, time and sensors only. At $500, those are some interesting specs that would actually hold up well in this price range to any normal quartz watch. And we haven't even touched on what's hiding under the hood yet. But let's touch on the visuals and feel of this watch first. The watch is delivered with a stainless steel bracelet and a rubber strap. We also get strap changing tools and even tools to adjust the bracelet. I removed it immediately since it's fairly tinny. It's not horrible, but this blue canvas strap from Watch Bandit suits it well in my opinion. The case is an all brushed affair with no sharp edges anywhere. It feels well made and has a pleasing heft to it. It's not small at 43mm wide, but the thickness is a reasonable 13mm. There are some prominent crown guards, which is good since the crown does stick out slightly to allow for two things. Clicking it to start an activity and also twisting the crown to move through the easy to navigate menu. Moving on to the dial, there are two complications. A monochrome AMOLED screen at the 12 position and a step counter just above the 6 position. I will touch more on that screen in a bit, but I think it melts in reasonably well to the dial when not lit up. It certainly doesn't disappear, but it's also not too much of an eyesore in my opinion. The step counter gauge is something that all Withings watches have, and I don't mind the design here. It's graded from 1 to 100, with 100 being your goal achieved. You can set what you want that goal to be, so if all you want to do is 2000 steps a day, then you'll achieve 100% every day unless you're dead. This complication is a reasonably non-intrusive way to see where you're at with your step goal that you set for yourself. The Withings Logo 3 is unobtrusive, but I'd love plume indices here instead, but show me one marketing department that would forego a logo for practicality. The dial has a subtle but quite beautiful sunburst finish. I chose the blue one and there is also a green option. In the right light, the blue reflects a deep royal blue colour and it's pleasing to see that the bezel and dial is exactly the same shade of blue. The hands are an interesting design choice. They are skeletonized with a modest amount of loom applied. I suppose they are that way so you can see through them when it comes to the info on the display, but interestingly, if the hands are anywhere near the 12 dial, they will automatically move out of the way when you press the crown. Legibility is pretty good, but would have been better in my opinion with solid hands. That said, presumably Withings trialled both options, and they probably wouldn't have gone with this version if they felt it was harder to read, so I will trust them on this decision. As I mentioned, the dial is covered by a sapphire glass that is not touch sensitive. 
I love this. I don't really have to worry about scratching it or bathing it too much. The specifications mention anti-reflective coating. It's probably there, but I don't think they apply too many layers. It's not too bad, but definitely far more reflective than my other watches. The loom, whilst adequate, is unevenly applied. You can see here that the 5, 7 and 11, 12 are not as bright. The bezel is an interesting choice. It's a 120 click dive bezel made of stainless steel. I couldn't find any information on the bezel insert, but my guess is that it's an aluminium insert. It's a matte finish, which is a good choice. It will not reflect any harsh light. And I'm happy to report that all markers line up perfectly. Flipping the watch over, we can find three aligned connections for charging and also three sensors. This is probably as good of a time as any to touch on the many, many things that this watch can measure for you. Let me take you through some of them. The Withings Horizon Blue can do the following. Continuously monitor your heartbeat all day and night. Count steps for you. Record an ECG through the bezel that can act as an electrode. It can measure dozens of exercises such as cycling, swimming, surfing, running, hiking. And hiking is where the watch uses your phone's GPS to track you out if you like. Weights, elliptical training, and it will also measure your sleep. On that last note, most smartwatches do this, but most smartwatches do not have the battery life to make that practical. The list seriously goes on and on here. That's all well and good, but unless you have an app that's easy and fun to use, all those things are useless. The great news here is that not only does Withings fully integrate with Apple and Google Health, the app is so good that it stands on its own. I'm on an iPhone these days and Apple Health is very good, but I would say Withings is better. The ability to turn off notifications completely makes it a comfortable wear. But if you're that way inclined, you can get all kinds of notifications from text messages to emails. Beyond the scope of the watch review are the other options from Withings, such as Wi-Fi integrated scales and blood pressure monitors. It certainly creates a complete offering. There is a fantastic channel that I will link up in the description with independent scientific research that will give you an idea on how accurate all these things are measured. Rest assured, readings come off pretty well. I am very impressed by this watch and I will continue to wear it at home and when exercising. I much prefer an analog display, but I also want to measure my health. The only real problem is obtaining this one. They are already selling at a premium on a second-hand market and the waitlist is reportedly quite long. It is certainly not perfect and will in no way replace any of my automatic watches in the look and feel department. But it's something I can wear at home in the gym without hating myself. If you really want one, I do have a connection out of the US that will help you. He got me mine. There are many countries, including Australia where I am, that are rumoured not to get this model at all, so your only option might be scalpers or secondhand. That sucks, but even paying slightly above the asking price still gets you what I think is a great smartwatch option for us watch fans. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.